it's Juliana here. I'm here to share with you guys this um, vintage ultra box that I did for the piece by piece Etsy store. And um, I had found this box at one of my antique stores. So actually it's very vintage and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. But I totally fell in love with it because you could see like the true vintage colors. It's being like very old and I really love the fabric. It actually kind of reminds me of the fabric from, you know, those ballet shoes, uh, especially the vintage ones. But um, it's been pretty stressed and kind of like beat up on the edges and stuff. But that's the beauty of the box and I absolutely love it. So I saw it and it was a really great price. It was pretty cheap. So um, I bought it and I had it for a while. I've been wanting to alter it a little bit and so um, I wanted to kind of keep it simple shabby chic of course and um, what I did here is I just added these um, two roses that I had found at a thrift store a while back actually so I wanted to do something with them so I added them in the top here um, I've also added some beautiful prima flowers this is a very nice pink flower here and then this one as well the new Prima flowers and some of the Prima leaves as well. So that's that for embellishments. And then um, all of the laces and trims that I use are from the piece by piece. And I have all the products on my blog, so I'll go ahead and put the link below. But um, what I did here is I layered two of her trims. This one, which is really gorgeous, and then I added the heart pink trim on the top of it. So it kind of goes diagonally like this. So that's the trim there. And then I also use her leaf trim, which is really pretty. You can kind of like cut them there and in little leaves so it's pretty cool so I added a little piece right here on the left um, let's see here and then this is another this is her floral trim as well so I cut out one of the flowers from it and I just kind of layered there on the right side um, you can see more of the leaf trim here I also added some buttons that just buttons that I had for my stash so just regular white buttons and then I absolutely love her um, silk ribbon so I go ahead and made a bow with it and then I added some seam binding just from my stash with one of her um, heart sliders buckle sliders very beautiful too so I just added that in the middle of the bow there and going over here, there's just more buttons and more of the leaf uh, trim here and more of the pink one as well. So that's pretty much all I did on the top of the box and um, I really like it how it turned out. Um, let me show you the inside because it's really cool. So the inside of this box, it's like really cool. So looks like, I don't know if it's me or not, but Maybe that's just the background. Kind of looks like there's like letters printed in there or something. But anyways, this is the top of the box. It's like really wrinkled. And again, it's kind of like covered with this fabric, which is really cool. And then um, here on the inside, just for now, I added some trims um, from the piece by piece and some flowers. And let me show you that what the bottom looks like. So it's like this piece of cardboard that is kind of around the box so pretty real cool little box I really like finding um, vintage old things like this so I'm sorry about that you guys my phone going crazy um, but that's it about for the box um, if you have any questions please let me know I hope you guys all like it and please be sure to visit the, the piece by piece Etsy store I will put the link below and I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend I'll talk to you guys soon bye bye